This video is brought to you by the Berea College Computer Science Department under a Creative Commons Attribution Share Alike version 4.0 license. In this video, I want to introduce you to Selly. Selly is a social networking tool. What makes it interesting is it isn't like Facebook or Twitter where anyone can join any conversation, but instead, it's a private social networking tool. It lets us create small social networks that just a few people can use together. And what makes it kind of cool is it's free. I'm going to log in and show you how it works. Here's my Sully dashboard. You can see that it has a wall or a stream of messages like you might be familiar with from other uh, social networking platforms. And it lets me post messages in one or more cells. A cell is a group. It's a forum, whatever you want to call it, perhaps. So here I have a cell for my electronics course, TAD 265, which I unofficially call Craft of Electronics. So I could send a note to this cell. I might say, hey, class starts in just about two weeks. All right. And of course, I have the ability to add emoticons, which makes everything amazing since it's Christmas time and actually a few other holidays as well. Do I have any? Uh... All right, so I, I only have a Santa. That's, Santa is nice and secular. Whoa, why did Santa go over there? Let's put Santa at the end. There we go. All right, so I could send this message to the cell. Now at this point, everybody who is a member of the cell is going to get that message. But what makes Selly really cool is that I get to choose how I will be notified when I'm a member of this cell. So for example, I can choose to receive email when something is posted, or I can choose to receive a text when something is posted. That's kind of cool. Or I can even have use a mobile app on Android or iPhone when something is posted. Let me show you. Here we have my mobile phone. And I'm going to open up Selly on the phone. Right there, you can see my dashboard again in a mobile phone format. And I'm going to go to the Craft of Electronics dashboard. I can see that the professors posted a message. Class starts in just about two weeks. And they sent me a Santa. Whoa! All right. Now, if I were a student, I could reply to this. But I've set this cell up in such a way that student replies are moderated. And that's really important because that means that in a class of 20 or 25 people, this doesn't become a new noisy channel, but instead this becomes a very simple way for me as a faculty member to send an alert or a message or an update to everyone in a class so they can get it by email, text, or they can be notified within the Selly app on the mobile device of their choosing. That, I think, makes this really powerful. So if I were to just say one or two more things about this, if I go back to my dashboard, number one, this tool is free. Number two, it's private. Number three, this is not part of some other communications mechanism. This frees up email, or Facebook, or Twitter, or any other, of a number of other tools from being buried in yet more communications. I can have a cell for each class, my students can join it, and they can get messages for each of those cells in separate spaces. From the student perspective, and actually from the faculty perspective, what's really great is you get to control how you'll be alerted on a cell-by-cell -cell basis. Some cells might be important enough that you want to get a text message. Other cells might be less important, and so you would decide that it's okay if you only find out via the app on your mobile device. Um, so really, it provides clear channels that the user has control over for communication. And finally, I think what's really cool is that this isn't just a tool for professors. Anyone can come in and create a new cell. So for example, you could create a cell called, I don't know, the farm store. And then you would have a cell that would allow people to come and join it 
and get announcements about the farm store. Or perhaps it could be the dining hall and they could get announcements about the dining hall. Or it could just be a group of friends. Maybe friends who live in Danforth and they can create a cell so that a group of students can just chat back and forth. I think that's about it for me. Um, but I wanted to share this in particular with my students and mention a few things that I think might make it interesting to the community at large. Have a wonderful holiday and good luck next term.